We're going to discuss in blue screen error, K mode exception not handled. And if you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share. So blue screen errors can be a hardware or software issue. Today, we're going to go over both. We're going to hit your power button and immediately start tapping on F12 to test your hardware. You didn't realize this when you bought a Dell, but Dell comes with built in software, I'm uh, sorry, diagnostic software that tests all your hardware components. Use your arrow down key, hit enter when you get diagnostics, and this will test all your hardware. Um, it's, it's testing the LCD right now. When it's done, hit yes. Okay, so we're looking specifically for hard drive or RAM uh, issues uh, or, or failure uh, in this diagnostic. You can see my batteries at end of life, but I'm looking for hard drive or RAM specifically for blue screen errors. Uh, so as you can see, mine passed. If your hard drive failed, uh, we have a link down below on how to go about replacing it. Okay, so the next step, we're gonna discuss your RAM. If you find your RAM failed the diagnostic, go ahead and uh, skip to minute three and a half. We explain what to, how to order a new one. But now I'm gonna take my battery out and unplug my computer and go inside to manually test my RAM because the diagnostic uh, can sometimes pass RAM that shouldn't be passed. And this blue screen error in particular is known for uh, being a RAM error. So we're gonna go inside, you're gonna look for an easy access panel to get to your RAM. If you can't find one, look up a dis disassembly video for your computer to get inside. And I'm going to take the RAM stick out one at a time. Because RAM is kind of like headlights on a car. Uh, it, one tends to fail at a time. So you, like I said, either you, I pull out the arms, it just pops right out real easy. Now, next I'm gonna close up that easy access panel again or just close up your computer to the, as best as you can. And then I'm gonna install the battery and I'm going to plug it back in and I'm going to see if when I turn on, if that blue screen error is gone. Because if the, you remove one stick and that blue screen error is gone, then you know, well, that stick was causing the problem. Which is why we're gonna manually test it because sometimes the diagnostics, like I said, it, it passes sticks of RAM that um, are still causing the problem. It's not completely accurate. Hit the power button. If you still get the error, still having problems, then we're going to go back into the laptop and we're gonna try removing that other stick of RAM. So we're using the process of elimination to see if you have a stick of RAM that is causing an issue. And uh, sometimes people ask me what kind of screwdriver I'm using. Uh, in this particular video, I put a link down below so you guys can see where I, I purchased it from. All right, so I get back in. Once again, pull the arms to the side. The RAM stick just pops right out. I take the other one, insert it. Now, if you find that uh, you have a black screen error with one of them, that's also a good sign that's a bad stick of RAM. Or if you find you put them both back in and suddenly your screen won't turn on, that's probably because you didn't put it back in securely enough. They have to be in tightly. Okay, so I'm gonna close it back in and I'm gonna test again to see if the RAM's the issue. Now, uh, we're gonna go into software issues at about minute four, so hang in there if you find it. We're just covering all the possible hardware issues, and then we're gonna move on to software solutions. All right, so I plug my battery back in, and I go ahead, plug it back in, and I hit power. If I hit power and the problem goes away, then I know I, that it's the RAM stick. If it's still present, well, we're gonna go into software solutions in a minute. This is what your stick of RAM looks like. This is the manufacturer. You don't have to stick with the same manufacturer, but some prefer to when they're ordering a new one. And PC3L-12800, that is what the code you are looking through. Something similar to that is how you're going to order a new stick of RAM. I'm gonna move on to the software solutions. You're gonna hit your power button. And once it gets past the Dell screen and it starts to load Windows, see that pinwheel, hold down shift, and then hold your power button to turn it off. And continue holding down shift, don't let go. Once it's completely turned off, hit your power button again, because we're gonna try to access your recovery man manager, because now we're gonna address the software side of things. So we're gonna try to reset your computer, which can fix a lot of these blue screen errors. If the reset doesn't work, then you will have to move on to reinstalling Windows, which once again, we have a link down below on how to do that. But a factory reset's a little bit easier for your everyday user. So, see advanced repair options. That's what we're gonna select. Troubleshoot, enter. Reset this PC. We're gonna use the remove everything. As you see, there is a keep my files option, which you can try a soft reset. It, it will let you keep your files, but it's less likely to work. The remove everything option 
is brutal. You lose all your information, but tends to be more effective. So kind of depends on what you want to try first. And once I get it to load, and once again, if there's any sort of error resetting, sometimes the operating system is just too corrupt and you have to go ahead and reinstall. Once again, like I said, have a link down below on how to do that. I'm going to hit fully clean the drive. So I'm going to hit enter and then the computer will start resetting for, like I said before, if for any reason it, it errors out, doesn't work, then you can go ahead and move on to the reinstall option, but try the reset first. And then you have that reinstall option as a plan for if for any reason your reset doesn't work. But anyway, that is how you address a blue screen error. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or some great ideas for some videos, leave them down below and one of our certified technicians will respond as quickly as possible. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.